My name is Melody Barnes, and I'm chair of the Aspen Forum for Community Solutions. I, thank you. America is in love with the transformational leader. America must fall in love with leadership. What's the difference? Dr. Jonas Salk is widely and appropriately credited with discovering the vaccine for polio. But there were hundreds of individuals who also contributed to that accomplishment. There were the scientists and the lab workers. There was the organization that's now known as the March of Dimes that galvanized public support and the resources that actually created the lab to make the work possible. And there were the parents and there were the children who took that first vaccine. Leadership is widely distributed. We need individuals who know themselves well enough to work effectively with others, to create a shared vision, and to take action with others to achieve results. We've heard about those kinds of leaders and that kind of leadership today. Parents in communities taking action to push back against violence. We saw it this past week with those who gathered in communities decade after decade after decade to make the gay marriage decision possible. We're doing that kind of work at Aspen as well, with young leaders all over the country, urban, rural, tribal communities, who are not only exercising their own leadership to transform their lives, but to transform their communities. And I'm also doing this work at NYU with our leadership initiative and developing and cultivating and supporting young leaders all over the globe. We have to remember that those who are leaders are not always leading, and those who are leading are not always the leader. 